tonight from Portland, Oregon. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Marcus Mariota and the Portland Lumberjacks taking on Dwayne Haskins and the London Black Knights. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with their opponents. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top. Strap in. This will be a good one. Two one-loss teams getting together as they're underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Orchestrating the offense will be their versatile quarterback, the Hawaii native Oregon Duck product. Of course, that's Marcus Mariota. And I'll bet right now just one thought in his mind. Win, win the, the game. game yeah. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. He played pretty well. I mean, he didn't turn over the ball in terms of interceptions, no, two right? Two touchdown passes two last touchdown week. Two touchdown passes, but when your team doesn't win, that's just hollow. And the best quarterbacks don't care about anything but whether or not their team won. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Mariota to throw it. And he finds Danny Amendola. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A handoff to Penny. And able to get this one across the 45 before his hard gains, and they've got another first down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. First down, Mariota. He'll get this to his speedster, Paul Richardson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll go option to the short side, and the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop, and it just never materialized. And down he went behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 11. On play action, Mariota. Blitz coming and down he goes. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. 
But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Needs something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And this is Inman with a catch. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They give up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. It would have been a long field goal. The fake doesn't work out. And this defense holds on the night's opening drive. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They are led out by the 15th overall selection in 2019, former Ohio State Buckeye Dwayne Haskins. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Haskins to throw it. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Jamal Sheard on the stop. Now it's Haskins. His throw incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. From the gun, it's Haskins. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. Jonathan Bostic, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Well, he shot in, CD, like he was out of a cannon from that linebacker position, and even though they had a running back in the backfield, no one could stop him. Well, you certainly diagnosed that play perfectly because as fast as he got into the backfield, you're exactly right. The running back had no shot to get over and try to protect his quarterback, and a sack resulted. is the punt team now as this one's sent away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. A first down throw for Mariota. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. He was unable to shake free there. and They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's what you would consider a goal for each and every defense because if you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team because you expect your offense to score more than that. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course. But I'd have to say a very solid performance. Throwing again on second down. Mariota complete. Richardson has it. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. They go play action. Mariota. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. 
Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Will Fuller back deep to return. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. 12 yards on the return that time. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? The numbers for Zeke from last week. 18 carries, 87 yards, and a touchdown. After the last game, they have plenty of reason to be confident in their running game. And even though they're facing a top-10 defense, they're not going to shy away from doing what they do best. Make them adjust to them. Make them stop what they do before they go to any type of a changeup. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. First down carry by Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. The give is to Elliott. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Haskins on third down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Demario Davis. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Charles, not only is that an interception, it's one when you were really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost them. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Good opening corner for him. Remember, he had the sack earlier. Now a tackle for loss, another tackle for loss. He's really making it tough on the play call, though, isn't he? Because it's one thing to try and adjust when a guy is disrupting your running game. But when he's messing up your passing game as well, they may have to devote at least a second guy to him to try and keep him away from their plays. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Play action now, Mariota. That is caught, it's the tight end Goddard. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Penny, the first down carry. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. He'll have a first down past the 40. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Pretty ideal right there. Keep it yourself. Get the first down and get the heck out of bounds. And knowing him, I believe he's thinking, I can get a few more yards if I just lower my shoulder. But he also hears that second voice in his head. His head coach and probably his agent too saying, get out of bounds, man. Don't do that. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Play fake, Mariota. He finds his man complete. It's Stanley. Second and eight. Here's Mariota. A shift's past him. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. 
They go back to the ground now with Penny. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Off the play fake, Mariota. Throw left side complete. That's Stanley. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. To throw is Mariota. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And Parkey's kick is good. And with that, they will move out in front by three. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Here again comes Dwayne Haskins and company. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Haskins to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for only a yard, and it will be third down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, Big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll run on first down. Elliott, and he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. A give to Elliott. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to grab them. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. Jonathan Bostic make that now eight sacks for him on the season. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Well, they bring their punter out there now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Nine yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. 
How come they didn't tell us about it? Because, because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. On second and nine, Mariota. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. Nope. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Sack. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mariota. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. up past the 45 before being tackled. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Mariota on first down. He finds his man complete. That's Stanley. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Minutes remain, 3 0 our score. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. And the pass complete, this one to Danny Amendola. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Again, it's Mariota. It's hauled in here by Edmund. This will be their first trip to the red zone. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Throwing is Mariota. His throw caught right around the six. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. Now Mariota. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and goal, Mariota. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Stanley. Touchdown! A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lumberjacks are able to widen their advantage. Well, we know someone just added to his touchdown passing total, but all he did was get the ball out quickly to his tight end and let him take care of business the rest of the way.
Cody Parkey is on now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So that drive, 12 plays in length. Now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Kenny Galladay making his way back onto the field with the rest of this offense. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. From midfield now, Haskins. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. Off the edge, Mario Addison gets the sack. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. And this one complete to Will Fuller. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. And on now is the punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Final 12 seconds of the half now as they've got it first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we send you cross-country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. We'll get started up at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati, where it was the Bengals who were able to pick up the victory at home. Golden Tate, what a game. Over 200 yards receiving with three touchdown grabs. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they still have time to get them established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. From the 29, Haskin. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Looking to throw, Haskins. That one complete to Dede Westbrook. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. On oh, 
on first down. It's Elliott. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Haskins. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Now it's Haskins. And that is incomplete. Well, this is just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. Looking for tendency breakers right now. Second and 10. Here's a give to Penny. And he's got some space here. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 30. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Mariota now to throw on first down. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first and 10, here's Mariota. And he's going to hook up with his big tight end, complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Man coverage on the left side, so I really like the design of this play because they opened up the field and brought their tight end the other way on a crossing route. That's a lot of ground to cover if you're a defender. I've been there before, unable to stay with his man there. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive to throw Mariota. He finds his man complete. It's Stanley. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Five yards remain on second down. And to give this time to the tailback. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Third and short yardage, Mariota. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. The kick by Parkey is good, and that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So they're able to build on things here with a field goal, but you know the question is how much longer can they really rely on their defense to pitch a shutout? That's a great question because you know the guys on the other sideline are saying, give us the ball. We want another shot at this. So yes, tight game, he'll take the three. But this game, it's... London about set to take over on offense. 
These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Haskins will throw. Haskins hit, and he lost the football. But thankfully, this is corralled by the offense, so they will, in fact, hold on to the football. Fortunate to get that football back, because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity, because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Here's Haskins out of the gun. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. Portland's offense now about set to take over. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Again, it's Penny. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. From the gun, Mariota. Come on, it's Dontrell Edmond. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Rashad Penny. And some room to work. And he'll go get to rushing for him now in the ball game. You know, I have a pretty good friend, Charles Davis, who tells me that when he sees plays like that, strong runs to the right, reminds him of the 1960s Green Bay Packers. Boy, those were the days back when the fullback actually carried the ball as well as block. Then you had a halfback. You had pulling guards, guys who could get out and run. And you can hear the great coach saying it back then. So we get a seal here and a seal here, and we run this play right in the alley. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. On the draw, this is Penny. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. Third and long here for Mariota. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And no, it doesn't get there. Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it on line, but it comes up about a rotation short. London about set to take over on offense. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. 
Now Haskins on first down. He'll get this over to Westbrook. It's complete. On first and ten, it's Haskins. They go right back to Westbrook. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Haskins. The open man is Westbrook. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Haskins looking to throw on first down. He'll get this one to Galladay. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Now Haskins to throw it. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Haskins back to the air. And it's caught. Touchdown. Will Fuller, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Black Knights are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that'll make it 13-7. Five plays there on that drive. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Danny Amendola on the return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Time to look now with our spotlight at the quarterback, Marcus Mariota. He's playing pretty well. I don't think it's necessarily him changing up something he's doing, but that old line, they've got to protect him better. They do. They've got to make sure that they give him more than enough time in order to find targets downfield. And sometimes what happens when these things are going on is that the, the field general will step up and say, hey, that's on me, guys. I didn't get rid of it fast enough. Anything to try and relax them a little bit and take some pressure off because they do know that they are trying. Yeah, well, we've seen the four sacks so far in this contest. On play action, Mariota. He finds his man, complete takes it across the 40-yard line. Penny. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Second down at four. Mariota now. Got his man on the end round, complete. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the shotgun, it's Mariota, complete. Richardson has it. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Good enough for a first. On the run, it's Penny. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Mariota. They set up the screen to Penny. 
Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively, and the key to any screenplay is space to work, and there was none to be found there, and they tackle it for just a short game. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. Over the middle, it's Amendola. And they'll get this down to the 10. Could just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Mariota to throw it. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. And the ball smacked down on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Throwing Mariota. Buying time to his left. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Five yard touchdown run. And the Lumberjacks look like they're gonna get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. But that makes this a two-score ball game. And you know, the way this thing has been going, Charles, two scores kind of feels like three or four scores. Yeah, that's a great observation. It's been a heck of a battle, hasn't it? And points have been at a premium throughout this game. So you have to wonder, is this going to be too much for them to overcome? And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great read, and it's picked off. teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Now, after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. London about set to take over on offense. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Throwing now, Haskins on first down. And that's Elliott, complete. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now it's Haskins. And he completes it to Westbrook. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. To throw again on second down. Haskins. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Haskins going to throw again. And he'll go underneath here to Elliott. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Haskins to throw. Open man right side is Ingram. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. From the 16, Haskins. And he completed seven straight passes before that one as it falls incomplete and puts a halt to that streak. Haskins on third down. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. 
And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. From the gun, it's Haskins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Back to throw. Haskins, that one complete. Elliott. And now lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Read it well, and it's picked. And he will take it on out to the 20-yard line. All smiles and high fives on that defensive sideline. That interception will cap off what was truly a tremendous performance. Yeah, if you can hold a team to seven points in the NFL, that's the kind of day that you feel really good about. And I do know a few guys are going to think to themselves, held them to seven. If we'd made one more play, <laughs> could have had our shutout. Portland's offense now about set to take over. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a play in the catch. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. And they will take a knee here. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. So first and second down went in the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. And they take a knee. So plenty of smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown. And that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the airways, right? Make sure the quarterback is harassed. This type of performance you get. They can't fashion together any offense, no consistency, and they just took control. So for Portland, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1, and one, and they will hit the road next week for a date with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the loss will move them back to 3-2 and two on the year, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.